G'day everyone, Chris here, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. Now, we're still in stage four lockdown, we're halfway through, three weeks to go, so I am really can't wait to be able to get out, get to the beaches, find a few more treasures for you guys. I am going to go over to someone's place tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning. I have been given permission to hunt on his fields, he has about 40 acres of property, um, and I have been there once before. So I do know there's been an old old farmhouse on the property. So I know there's farming activity happening in that area. I do I do believe history in that spot is apple orchards, I think, in that area. So I don't think there's I don't really know too much about the uh, about the history um, of pedestrian traffic in that area, whether whether I'm gonna be able to find anything specific, but I'll go and have a look on his fields and we'll do a bit of detecting and see how we go. If you're wondering what I'm going to be using tomorrow, it is the Equinox 800 down here. Just got it on charge. I've got a shovel, some gloves, a camera, my pinpointer, macro pinpointer and my treasure pouch. That's it. Right, let's, uh, I'm going to go early in the morning, probably get up about 6.30 and uh, head over by 7.30, 8 o'clock so that I can get a couple of hours detecting in before I go to work tomorrow. So anyway, let's get this done nice and quick. Three, two, one. And here we are guys, it's now 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, it's looking a bit windy actually. A little bit of wind rushing through but let's get over to Bob's place. We'll do some hunting on his fields. We'll see if we can find some history. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, so just travelling down this one one main road. Uh, this is Coolart Road. Just travel down here. Bob lives along this road. Um, as you can see, there's lots of biggish properties along here. And I think back in the day, there would have been a lot of orchards around this area. Would have been a lot of apples and whatever, whatever they were growing in the orchards. properties in, in along here, everywhere. I think they're trying to subdivide everything up and put a lot of more residential in this area, but I don't know if they've got the authority to do that. Bob's place now out here on the left is a field um, that's his property on the left on the right here is a different property but that's a big field there that I could get into and have a bit of a detecting um, I might try up near his house first and then come down to the field there is a few fields here, it goes all the way back. All the way back up here. Lovely bloke Bob is, very very nice man. That's where I detected, I've detected here before and I detected in this little field just here. We found a few old trinkets, which was good. Apparently there was an old farmhouse in this area. So that's where Bob said, yep, give that a crack and see what we can find. We did find some, some old trinkets in there. Uh, I might try this field here. Anyway, we'll get up. We'll get up into it. 
we'll get on the field and we'll see what we can find. Alright guys, so we're here at the farm, we're here at the here at Bob's property. You got a few fields I'm gonna check but I'm still using my mask just to be safe. So let's get out there and have a look. There we go guys, so I just got a first signal down here, it was a 15, 16, and bang, there we go, full tab. Rightio guys, well I'm just doing this small paddock here, and I was just hunting over in the tree line there, but I've got a signal down here. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Let's dig it. We'll see what it is. I don't know. Let's see if I can dig this. Okay. So we got a plug. Let's pop it out. So there's the plug. Now, get my knock to pointer. Hopefully I've got it. Alright, so it says it's somewhere this way. So, what will it be? Feel something. See something. What is that? Could be an aluminium can. Maybe a bit of. Okay. Might even be a uh, old tube. Oh, look at that! It's an old toothpaste tube. Or it's an old tube, maybe not toothpaste, maybe something else that they used back in the day. Anyway, we'll clean that up and have a look at it when we get home. Alright guys, so just got that, some sort of uh, tube there. Got another funny signal over here though. It's really scattered, I don't know what that sounds like. I'll get the pinpointer out, we'll have a look. Never know what it could be. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got it here. Something. I'm feeling it might be something a bit old and strange again. Made out of garbage. Oh, there's a nice worm. Oh, okay. I think I see something here. Oh! Jesus. Yeah, we've got an old hook bolt. Hook bolt. Anyway. Alrighty, oh, yeah, guys. I've got another signal just in front of that other one, that bolt that I found. Now, it seems to be beeping all over the place. I'm not sure. Let's see. Alright, what's this? Okay, so we've got a bit of rubbish here. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, so it's another tube. I wonder what they were using that for. We'll have to clean it up and find out what the tube, what's in the tube. All right, guys. So now pulled out that signal from down here. That another tube. I'm getting a 22 signal here. We've got a 22 here, so we'll dig it. See if we can find anything else. Now, this is hard, one handed. Oh, okay, there's the plug. Up. Now what did I see 
anything. I'll just use my ink on it. Here we go. Alright, so we've got something on this side. Something down here. Oh, I can feel something actually. Here we go, what's that? Oh, another damn tube. So someone's just chucked a shitload of these tubes. Could have been something, could be anything. We'll have a look at it. Radio guys, got another signal down here. She's ringing up an 18. I'll get the uh, pinpointer out. Alright guys, so I did find it. It actually, it is in the plug. It's a bit strange signal. Ah, oh, okay. I see it. It's an old nail. Alrighty guys, so getting a 2022 down here. Rightio guys, so I do have a target in there and I can see it. It is an aluminium can, but it's way down and I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna be able to as you can see you can hear it. I have seen it, but I'm not going to dig that out because I don't want to wreck the lawn. Alrighty, guys. So we're just we're just at the back of the the place now, and uh, I'm just doing around in this grassy area, around that way a bit. And I'll probably just do a little bit in that paddock, and then I'll uh, call it a day. But I did get a signal down here, 22, and it is beeping. So I don't know whether it's. I thought it might have been something in the concrete here, but okay, looks like it might be up in this bit here. Might be, could be something to do with the with the concrete, but okay. So we got it up here, let's just bend this out. Oh, here we go. That's, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a hose plug. Obviously a bit of a garden, so. Huh, the end off a hose. There you go. Alrighty, so we've got another signal down here, guys. It's just ringing up a 16. Oh, it's pretty solid, feels like. What does it feel like? Feels like a bloody... Mm. I can feel something down there. some sort of watering maybe you stick it in the ground like that like some sort of gardening system perhaps being close to the house and the gardens I assume that's probably what it is all right guys so I'm just gonna have a little hunt in this little bit area here Poss possibly just this area at the back here as you can see she's a bit damn muddy 
poor squelching. Anyway, I've got a signal down here, uh, ringing up at 21, and I did, did find it. Whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is just a chunk of metal with some nails hanging out of it. Jeez. Rightio, guys, I've got another signal down here. She was ringing up at 20, 22, 23. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I can see it. She's an old bottle cap. Oh, beauty. She must be vintage. Okay, Bob, don't go throwing your bloody Bob bottle caps out in the garden. Alright, guys, so I'm just walking up this line of uh, pine trees. I'm under this big one here. And Do have a bit of a target down here. It says it's pretty shallow, so it possibly is some junk. All right, let's have a look. So we got a bit of a signal there. Let's just dig that. Oh, shit. Hit something. Probably a root. Let's see if we can't get it. Whoa. Ah. Can. Fosters. The old Fosters. Rightio guys, so got a sixteen seventeen down here, so we'll dig it and see what it see what it is. Rightio, dug a plug. So we'll see if there's One big chunk of bar. One big bar. Upright, probably a, something to do with gardening. It's been around in the garden, I assume. Anyway, let's get on to another one. Actually, I might go, I might call it a day, guys, and we might head home and uh, check out the Check out the fines. Rightio guys, I've finished the hunt today. I've been at, uh, at Bob's farm. He's kindly allowed me to do some detecting on his paddocks. I did, I did do some detecting in that paddock there. 
and sort of just up the back of his house and just around his house and stuff. We didn't really find much, but it was fun to get out, obviously, in stage four, stage four lockdown. I've come down to Bob's as a courtesy call just to see if he needed anything done or any help around the house, supposedly. <laughs> but he did let me do some detecting, so let's get home for the wrap and see what I got. Rightio, guys, I made it home from the hunt um, at Bob's place. Not a real good hunt, didn't find anything special, didn't find anything different. Uh, so let's have a look and see what I got. Alright, so here's the finds today. Um, as per I expected, a fair bit of rubbish. You got your aluminium can. Now you do have a few gardening things. This is obviously a sprinkler. This is the end of a hose. Um, bottle cap, pull tab even. You can't get away from those pull tabs. Now we do have a hook bolt. Got a big chunk of steel here, round pipe. You might be able to clean that out and use it. You know, you never know when you need a bit of pipe. Bit of shit here. Bit of a bracket, something holding on, probably wood. Now I did find a couple of these tubes. It says Molly Bond. Anti-wear merchant. Formula two something. Anyway, some sort of anti-wear some sort of stuff you put on it to maybe preserve I don't know leather or something like that there's a few of those there anyway three of them anyway so that's about it that's all I got I do want to say a big thanks to Bob for letting me go to his property um, we're in the stage four lockdown obviously and uh, I can't get out anywhere else um, because he lives pretty close I can duck down to his place and do a bit of detecting in his fields so appreciate that Bob hopefully in another couple of weeks we'll be able to get out I'll be able to at least get out to the beach so I should be able to start finding more treasures very soon so anyway make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed help me grow the channel um, if you like this sort of content I will be going out doing some more magnet fishing as well and I'll probably do a few gaming videos in the next couple of weeks because I probably can't get out and do anything else and hopefully I'll be able to get out soon and start finding more treasures. Anyway guys, I'm Chris, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. See you on the next hunt.